Hello and welcome to the 8th tutorial in the Cocos 2DX version 3 C++ tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at position using the jump by method. This tutorial scene we've done tutorial 5, if you haven't there'll be a link in the description to the source code and as usual there'll be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. So the jump by method allows you to specify a time you want the jump animation to take an end position so basically where it's going to end up relative to the start position because it's jump by the height of each jump and the number of jumps which is pretty cool so we're just going to open up the project from tutorial 5 and in our hello world scene we see here we're going to do auto action equals jump by colon colon create so first we specify the duration we're just going to put three seconds then we specify where we want it to end up we're going to put point 100 zero this means you'll end up 100 pixels to the right relative to where it started which was the center now the height of each jump i'm going to put 50 pixels and the number of jumps i'm going to put three so each jump will take one second now we just need to run this action so my sprite run action and action running the simulator Here you go, we started here and he jumped three times, so like one, two, and three. That's it for the jump by method. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at position using jump two. It basically allows you to specify an end position and you jump to that particular position, not by, not jump by a particular amount. And you specify time and height of each jump and the number of jumps, which is good as well. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. It'll be in the description. Or you can just message us via YouTube or just leave a comment. Also, if you need the source code for anything, there will be links in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching.